You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Phil wants to know, um, can surgery to remove my cancer cause it to spread? Um, it really depends if it affects uh, the stem cells. It, it depends on many factors. Um, the, the concept behind that is that some of these cells can break off and travel throughout the blood. I think what is more likely um, that we understand about surgery is that when you go into anesthesia and the recovery period afterwards, your immune system is slightly suppressed. Mm -hmm. And that's when the cancer cells can, you know, uh, micrometastasis can start developing when the mm -hmm. immune system is suppressed like that. Mm -hmm. So there, you may have just said this in your language, but just to be clear that I understand, because I've, I've, I, frequently we'll hear people kind of asking a similar question so you know if i if something got nicked while i had a biopsy or if some you know something went sideways or mm -hmm. if a certain amount of my cancerous tumor was taken out but some was left behind mm -hmm. does that increase uh the the rate of development or likelihood of metastases uh, i'm not sure what you mean well um, so the question here is, can surgery to remove my cancer cause it to spread? And I guess I'm just expanding on that in, in terms of, uh, let's say I go, I'm, I'm having a surgery to take out a cancerous tumor and they don't get it all. Well, that's going to be a given. Okay. Um, the, the actual tumor is typically created by the stem cells that are I believe up to eight centimeters away from the tumor. Mm. Um, so there's some distance away, and not in every mm. case. So there was a uh, a study that kind of addressed that issue. And what they found is that you need to take an eight centimeter ball of tissue around the tumor mm. to actively remove all of the um, cells that are in precancerous development stages and the stem mm. cells. and all of the cancer associated mm -hmm. macrophages and stuff. Chunk. So when people have amputations, let's say they have a bone tumor in their leg and they don't have tumors anywhere else in their body and they cut off the leg, typically those people have long-term uh, durable hmm. um, res mm -hmm. response. Which is why they use that right. approach, yeah. I guess. Uh, uh, you know. So you have to take out a lot of tissue to really get rid of it. Okay. So you're always going to leave tissue right. behind, okay. cancer cells behind. Right, because it's in the. It's not just the obvious necrotic no. tissue that you. It's can the surrounding see. region. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Good question. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.